Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Six News. Today we're talking about the potential name of the Danish opera in the next season of Rainbow Six Siege and how it might actually be influencing the character design. And I'm going to do a little bit of theory crafting here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So first of all, this comes from a text-based leak, but it comes from a reliable source that's given us good information in the past. But it just wasn't enough for me to make a video on the Core Ross channel, so I thought I'd throw it together in the news roundup on the Six News channel. And a commenter replied and gave me some really good information, which was that it was probably misspelled, as in the leak it had the O with the double dots above it, but it was probably supposed to be the O with the line through it, which I believe is supposed to be pronounced something like Nuck, I believe, something like that, but you guys let me know if I'm wrong. But anyway, this Nuck is supposed to be a monster that lurks around lakes with its grass-grown head poking out of the water. Now this is where I'm going to start beginning my theory craft in here because the leak also says that this operator is going to be cute and fan favourite. However, that person who leaked this information did actually have another post where they said they didn't actually have photos of these operators. So my thinking is that the actual cute and fan favourite is a red herring. I don't think that's the case because this monster is pretty cool. It's interesting, you know, grass growing out of its head and that being very spooky. And of course we have the Danish frogman look, which looks incredible. So to take these two things, the cool name of a monster, and of course the incredibly cool looking Danish special forces frogman, I think to give all that up as, you know, the designers of this game would be, a, would be stupid, right? It'd be terribly weird to make a cute operator with all that incredible artwork you have that could potentially go into this incredibly cool looking operator. I think that we're going to actually see an operator who looks as close to a monster as we can, looks spooky as hell, but not only that, after researching this monster a bit more, it was interesting to find out that, depending on geography, it's either a female or a male. So my thinking is when they announce this operator, they're not actually going to say whether it's a male or female operator because that's our usual thing. We have one guy, we have one girl. That's how it's been for Rainbow for a long time and it's been relatively consistent. There's been a few times when it hasn't been, but the genders of operators have always been clear. But with this operator, I think it's going to be a complete and utter mystery. They're not going to announce it. They're going to keep the details simple. They're obviously, the character model is not going to reveal any female figure or anything like that. And of course, you're not going to see the face. So I think we're going to be looking at a complete mystery with this new operator. And hopefully, I'm really hoping we're going to have that, you know, frogman look. And we're not going to have a cute operator. If we have a cute operator, I'm not exactly going to be like, you know, disappointed. But I would much prefer if we get further into the the frogman look and kind of match up with the name of the operator as well because I think that would be perfect and I think it would be a good little twist on this. Now guys just a quick summary of this conclusion so first of all this is based on leaks so take a huge grain of salt with that. I've added to it with my own theories so take a massive grain of salt with that as well but I like the idea that the name and of course the Danish frogman special forces play a massive part in the design of this operator and I hope we do kind of get like a almost a monster-like operator. And having a kind of mystery behind the gender as well, when we've gone for so many seasons with one male, one female operator, it'd be kind of cool if we just don't know, you know? We have no clue. And I think that would kind of play in quite cool. So whether that will happen or not, or whether we just end up getting the cute operator, you know, it's fascinating to me. I like you know, theory crafting this kind of stuff. And if you guys like it too, uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, guys, let me know your own theories in the comments below, and I will catch you next time.